Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's great that you're here. If you're new to cryptocurrency and you want to learn more, hit that subscribe button and slap on that bell. Slap on a like while you're there as well. ka -ching. Now, I want to say thank you, first of all, for the, the happy birthday messages I got yesterday. It's very much appreciated. I really do care. It's lovely. But we're going to get into the nitty gritty of altcoins. Why are they pumping? How you can discover if it's going to be altcoin season, I will do that at the end. That is one of the greatest tips I can ever give you. So honestly, stick around. And it gives you that clear edge that you should be holding either altcoins or taking them all out completely and holding into bitcoins. Because we know what happens when bitcoin rallies. Altcoins bleed to death and you lose your satoshi. So stick around for that one. I'm going to go over a few coins. I'll probably go over Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin potentially EOS, some good coins that I think will do very well over the next couple of weeks due to certain fundamentals and TA. We are in altcoin season and it is very, very important that you understand that these don't last forever and ultimately you need to be prepared for when it turns back around so you can hold that investment. But we'll talk about some elements of news and some kind of TA, but let's get into it and enjoy this one. So what have we had recently? Obviously, the market cap is going up in cryptocurrency. The volume is going up to an alarming rate. The dominance is coming down. I want to mention that more in a bit. But ultimately, the fundamentals of the market sentiment has changed into a bullish mood. It's nice. They will be a pullback. Do not worry. If you have missed the boat, always, always, always look out for those dips and get involved correctly with the right advice, with the right research. Do not FOMO into stuff like this. You will get burned. I can I guarantee you, maybe not in five years' time, but if you're looking for the short-term gains, this is the burn zone, guys, I'm afraid. We are probably into a burn territory due to certain fundamentals. Now, I'm going to go off this page very quickly. I'm going to mention this. Consensus has happened. It's been and gone. It was really, really good and successful this year in terms of prehistoric data. We were in a heavy bear market last year. Heavy in this time last year. It didn't pump. Everyone was like, oh, it pumps. Every year, consensus pumps because of due to certain fundamental elements. But it started in 2015. That was the start of the bull run of the last cycle. Obviously, it's going to pump every year. We're now back into a bullish sentiment. It pumped. So a lot of people were touting this to do well very like because the market changed. We've got to look at certain elements. Moving averages changed over 15 months. The Bollinger Bands changed over 15 months. The volume's at all-time high. The, the hash rate's going up. The miners are now on. The miners are in profit. Bitcoin's going up. It's always going to go in the sentiment of that way. There's a lot of interest. There's a lot of people calling for a new bottom. I don't think it's going to happen. I think that's it now. I think we've had our 86% ratio. We've had mass analysts who know their stuff calling that this is the next parabolic cycle. We're going to go into it. But... There's always a retracement. Do not worry about that. I've already said that. I know. But let's talk about a few coins that have stood out very, very well. Now, one thing I want to make sure you always remember to do. Coin market cap, yeah, it's okay. It has a bit of issues with what data it pulls. In June, it's changing the way it runs. Totally changing. It's going to have certain exchanges that have to have certain verifications of volume. So it will probably change the numbers a little bit. Not so much price, but the numbers of volume, okay? Volume's incredibly high at the minute. I remember this at 17, million, uh, 17 billion, sorry. And now it's, oh, it's crazy how high it is now. Always check this. How are your Satoshis doing? When Bitcoin goes vroomph like that, your Satoshis will be bleeding out. But it looks amazing because you go on coin market and be like, oh, it's green. But when you look at your other side of your portfolio, you're like, oh, <laughs> I've just lost half a Bitcoin. You know, you've got to be very, very careful what you're doing. So... It's looking good at the minute. Satoshi values are beating it, and I'm going to explain exactly how you can discover this in a more appropriate way using trading view, using alerts, so you know when to sell your altcoins and when to buy Bitcoin. She's easy. Now, we're going to go over a few coins. Let's talk about a few. Ethereum. Now, if you're unaware of this, by the way, we now have ratings on coin market cap done by a different company. Flipside Crypto. Ethereum is the highest rated. Superb. Ka-ching. If you're an Ethereum fan, well done. Congratulations. It's a good one. We all knew that anyways. But either way, let's look at a few things. 
Ethereum has a lot of new developments coming out over the next couple of months or so. You know, proof of stake, the whole bits and bobs with how their actual algorithms work in their supply is going to be a bit different in terms of rewards. It's going to be faster. It's going to be more efficient. It's all that good stuff. I'm not going to go too much into it, but it's going to create a price bump. But when you look at the technical side of it, it hit key support lines and hit a double bottom. Oomph. A lot of coins are also doing that when it comes to Satoshi values. They've hit the long-term trend line from the bottom support line, essentially. So a lot of coins have now they've stood the time of the altcoin uh, rally of April, where it literally went stopped. Throughout April and through to mid-May, we were just tanking down loads. Okay, then we hit that support line again. It's basically a repeat of what just happened. So if we can gauge off that, we've got at least three to four weeks of potential runs on altcoins, which is quite good. Now, let's go to the chat. I want to put on Ethereum BTC. Now, let's have a look at have a look at Binance. If you just zoom out and you look at this region here, one, two, three. We're always going to moon. We were always going to move. Now, I had a... I've got a resistance line up here somewhere. There we go. I'm going to move it down now. That just gives you an indication there that, yeah, this one doesn't really happen, but this is the one. This is from December 17. We've now got December 18. Retest of that. That is the indication of moon, essentially. That's going to hit that bottom line. If you hold in Bitcoin, it's going to go bang. You can kind of see on the RSI as well where it went. Bang. Bang, bang. Obviously, we've got other, other, oversold conditions. We know now. Obvious factor of this is technical TA. That is really basic for anyone to understand. When any coin hits a bottom, bounces off it, and then goes and retests it and hits it, usually it's a bit bigger than the last one. Usually, because it's a double bottom. Now, you can argue certain elements that it may not be. It may fail on this resistance up here and it may go back down and then try again. It has to hold simple TA. Support have to hold. Resistance need to be tested. That's as, as simple as it is. Once you flip over it, it acts as new support. Ethereum has. Oh god, that went wrong. Oh my. Apologies for my terrible. There we go. Usage of. Trading view. Now you've got hard resistance there. That is the next jump in movement. Now obviously you've got a one here as well, but this one is more the hard one because you look further down, it's a lot more it's a lot heavier, it's thicker, it's thicker mud. Obviously, we've got a breakthrough there. Breakthrough that for Ethereum is key. It is absolutely key. Now, this is in Satoshi values, remember that. The value of Satoshi's over the fiat version of um, what do you call it? Ethereum is a lot different. So basically, if you go to the compare chart, put in ETH USD or US whatever, um, US dollar, Binance. If I just do that, you can see there, it's obvious. For the world to see, it's better to take out profits in fiat at the moment due to the fact that we've had a massive bearish run on the altcoin so the satoshi values have dropped that will catch up guys guarantee you it will start to catch up so be mindful of what you're doing in terms of what you're holding okay i've already said at the start of the video altcoins is what you need to hold on to now ethereum's gone on a run you can see that it's obvious you don't have to point it out too hard for you it's there it's hit that bottom and it's pinged this is the target zone i've already mentioned it let's have a look at from now to there, it's not much further, I'll be honest, 26%, easily achievable. That is where the hard resistance is. We need to get out of that zone in Satoshi's, and then it will start to travel a bit further. Once it travels a bit further, it could cast, start getting interesting, and we could start to see a $300, $400 Ethereum, which would be nice, again. So that is my basic element of TA for Ethereum. It has to break through this zone. Without that zone, there's nothing. We're at a new zone here. It's a bit heavy with support and resistance areas from the past. We know that. But ultimately, that is where this human psychology starts to kick in. The FOMO will start kicking in once it goes over that point. Personal opinion, not financial advice. Let's go on to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, what on earth is happening with Bitcoin? 
BTC. Let's have a look at it. Ooh, it's doing its thing. Now, this is where we're at the sticky patch. Can you see it? Look left. Here. This is the sticky patch I've always been talking about. This was a patch that I didn't think would ever get to us any point in the summer. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think so. We did a live zoom on um, my premium channel. Uh, Dan Harris spoke about this in length that this free fall, we didn't retrace enough. It took a long time to retrace and all of a sudden, bang, this was not expected. We were expecting a 6,000 Bitcoin and then come back down for a retest. We've now FOMO'd up to this region. We've broken through key support levels from the past. They're the heavy resistances. Key support make heavy resistance and it's a pain in the backside to get through them. But we did it with ease. Go figure. So this region here was the one that we were targeting, 6264 region. In between that little pocket, it was quite heavy from previous. Because if I do that, we were there a lot. And you can see certain elements of where we were at the past. And this was a big, massive chunk of resistance. We went, later, bye. We flew through it. We did. Now, this is the next bit. This little clump here. Doo -doo. If you look to the left, there's more of them. You know, it's quite heavy in this region. If Bitcoin breaks this, which I don't think it will, because I think also altcoin season's got to come now and it's going to create a bit of the hype and profits will be taken out of Bitcoin from that, this run. This run's a big run. If you think from the start of April to here, it's a big run. People have got over 100% to move into altcoins if they've held on from their positions. They'll go into alts. Obvious, right? So if Bitcoin, I'm just going to say this is hypothetically, if Bitcoin just hovers here for about a month, altcoin season is going to last for about that time. What will happen next is either two things. We're going to have the cataclysmic drop back down to these support levels into the 6K region, which is a big drop, but it could happen. But it doesn't mean it's the end of a bull run or bear cycle, whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as you are holding over the certain key elements of the bullish trend, which is technically down here, in these regions actually let me just put on a few more EMA so you can kind of see what I'm on about um, where is it there it is no wrong one come on la 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 boom, 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 boom. these are the key areas here right okay these are the like the, the last defense of the bulls essentially okay these bombs ideally we'll probably go down to here or at least here if I'm going to be a betting man but this has to slow the hell down I'm going to be honest with you, it has to slow down. Um, and I'm hoping it does if I'm going to go for the hedge of consolidation and a small retrace of a natural re retracement that's due. But that would cause altcoins to rally anyways because the, the FOMO is there now. The, the dominance is coming down. Profits are going into altcoins. So to understand that, I'm going to explain how you can chart that properly. But when you look at the basic of the Fibonacci on this, if you start from February, say, up to this point here, I honestly think we're going to retrace down to this 6-4 region, down to this pocket where this last clump was. That's where I would hedge my bet if we were going to naturally retrace. So I wouldn't be buying right now. If I'm, It's not worth the risk. The risk-reward ratio to me is not fair. It's FOMOing. Look at the key levels. The RSI is absolutely at the top of the moon right now. We're going to come down at some point. But it doesn't mean the market's going to crash. It just means Bitcoin's going to go down and altcoins will probably stay up a bit, which would cause the Satoshi values of your altcoins to catch up with it. Yes, I hope you're following. So it's not be all and end all that Bitcoin drops a couple of K. It may drop a K. It may go down 7K. Worst case scenario, 6.4. Really bad case scenario, golden pocket, 5.1. <laughs> but you never know with cryptocurrency. There's FOMO taking place. You cannot TA FOMO. You cannot TA new volume coming to the market. You cannot TA any of that. Make that apparent to you. So when I look at this, I think, well, what could happen if we consolidate or we just gradually just trickle down a little bit? We'll be pretty good. Not an alarming rate. All coins are now in force. They're going to run and run and run. Another element to back up this, Litecoin. I'll just go on the crack and one, why not? Who cares? Litecoin is the flavor of the month. And it will be for next month and the month after that and probably the month after that for a bit because of the 
Harvin. Harvin is a big thing, and this is going to create interest. And this has done a nice natural retracement. If you look at this, right, let's just have a little look. And this is what I'm talking about with Bitcoin. This could well happen with Bitcoin. A very nice gradual retracement over a period of a month to a certain key level there, and it, off it goes again. That is what could happen with Bitcoin. So what it would kind of transpire as, this region here was Bitcoin dominance flying. If you flip it over to Bitcoin and it does that and bounces off, it will just show that dominance is coming down, all kinds of rally, and it will swap over again. So what I'm going to talk about in a second, you'll understand what I'm saying. The dominance and the altcoin factor is huge. Now, one last coin to look at. I'll keep it brief. EOS. Why EOS? EOS has got a huge announcement on the 1st of June. I've been in this for a while now, since the 30th of March. Can't remember. A while. Can't remember. No, 30th of April, sorry. It's not been that long, can't say. Um, so I've been in this for a, a, a bit anyway. I got in on this region here on the retracement, okay? I was like, right, I'm gonna get in EOS because the 1st of June, Washington DC, they've got a big announcement. I don't know what it could be, but it's rumored to be good. Buy the rumor, sell the news, get in it before the congestion starts. Trending up, we're in an uptrend, it's always good. Getting a natural retracement. Basic, basic TA. Get your fib. Go from a low point, we'll go from this region here. Go to where the top is and you look at buying in one of these key levels. Once you see a turn, and I saw that, I was in. Those divergences in the RSI are absolutely key. You should really learn it. Now, what am I saying about all this jargon about Bitcoin dominance? Get on your chart and put in BTC.D. That is a Bitcoin dominance. We know Bitcoin's coming down. Not in price, dominance. This means a massive thing. This here, obviously, screenshot. I've mentioned it before in another video, but this is very, very apparent on how to risk management and portfolio manage yourself. It's really, really easy. Now, when this is going up, you want to be in Bitcoin. When this is going down, you want to be in altcoins. That's as simple as that. Why? When Bitcoin goes up to the moon, your Satoshi values of your altcoins will be falling off a cliff. They'll look good in USD. You'll be like, yeah, I'm making money, but you're, you may have had one Bitcoin. You may end up with 0 0.8 at the end of it. You'll be like, oh. And then you panic sell into Bitcoin and then altcoins are rally. And you're like, oh no. So you got to look at that. Another thing you also need on your chart as well is total two. Total two, <laughs> you can see here, it is very obvious. This is the altcoin market cap excluding Bitcoin. It is flying. Now, it doesn't take a genius to work out that this was coming down when Bitcoin was going up. Now this is going up and Bitcoin's coming down. I hope this has helped and made it really simple for you to understand how to manage and grow your Bitcoin. It's very, very simple. Altcoins, you buy them in altcoin season. You hold them for a bit. You then sell into profit in Bitcoin. So you keep your Satoshi values. And whatever happens with Bitcoin, whether it goes up or down, it doesn't matter because your Bitcoin Satoshi stay the freaking same. Simple. Education 101. Done. So there you go. I hope you like my stuff. Please do subscribe to my channel. Check out the link below. Telegram channel in the comments. All my education stuff's in there. You will learn the same sort of stuff that I teach here. Uh, just on a bigger scale and better and more efficient and more personal. <laughs> so there you go. New video for today. All coins are pumping and that is why. It's very, very simple. They've hit key support levels. They're bouncing all over the place and good fundamentals in certain coins such as EOS, such as Litecoin. Not to mention Bitcoin dominance coming down and a natural retracement is due. Laters.